All right, welcome back to section six, which is our last section in this video series. We're gonna be talking in this section about dashboards and widgets in JIRA. So in this section, we're gonna cover creating and managing dashboards. We're gonna talk about adding gadgets to your dashboards, and we're gonna talk about sharing your dashboards. Dashboards are really about broadcasting how things are going and being able to share that at a high level, being visible and transparent with the results of the project. So in video one, we're gonna talk about creating and managing a dashboard. We're gonna learn what a dashboard is. We're gonna learn how to create a dashboard. So let's go ahead and hop on over to Jira and let's take a look at dashboards, okay? So here's our projects, right? We had first project and second project. And on the left here, you'll see dashboards, all right? Now, Jira will come with a system dashboard by default. So we can take a look at that one. You can see really here's just kind of some different activity streams and things like that. But what we can do is we can actually go and create our own dashboard. In the upper right hand corner here, we can say create dashboard. All right, and we'll get some options. We'll call this my great dashboard and a description of all the good things, right? We can start from a blank, we can start from a system dashboard or an existing one already. We can favorite this in case we have many. We can have a favorites list. And we can choose our sharing options here. You can see we've got project, any logged in user, or public. So we'll just leave this at the default and we'll hit create. Now, here's my great dashboard, right? We've created this dashboard. Now you can see we can add a new gadget and we're gonna do that in the next section, but more importantly for right now, let's take a look at the layout. You can see we can have one page, like one giant sort of chunk of stuff here. We can have multiple columns, we can have a small column and a big one, we can have the opposite of that, or we can have three columns and we can choose it. We'll leave it at the default right now, but uh, I think it's important that you know that you have these options so that you can share a dashboard that is configured in a way that's uh, visually pleasing once we start to put these gadgets together. All right? All right. So that's how we create a dashboard. 